The last periodic property is the electronegativity. So what is electronegativity? It is a tendency of an atom to attract the shared pair of electrons in a covalent bond. Okay? So here see it is completely different than uh, compared to electron affinity. Okay? So there it is going to take up the electron, but here it is going to only like you know attract the shared pair of electron in a covalent bond. It is not like you know applied to a single gaseous atom. So now you know like you know it is made up of two electron because this would be a covalent bond because it is between two non-metals. Okay? So now here we can say see here we know that fluorine like you know it is more electron negative because it can attract the shared pair of electrons. So this electron will be pulled slightly by the fluorine. So as a result this one will have a partial negative charge and this one will have a partial positive charge. And one more thing is like you know you have to remember that this is only a relative property. Okay? When we compare H and F fluorine will be more electronegative than hydrogen. So it is just a relative property, relative property. Okay. It, is, it does not have any absolute value. So, here we can say as I told you fluorine is more electronegative when compared to hydrogen. So, because it is a relative property there is no unit, okay? no units for electronegativity. Now, let us see how it depends on the various parameters. First one is the size of atom. So, the electronegativity is inversely proportional to the size. So, the smaller size it will be more electronegative. Okay? So, that is why we can see like you know fluorine will be more electronegative in a period. Now, coming to the nuclear charge like you know when the nuclear charge is higher okay, the electronegativity will also be higher. Coming to the charge on the cation, okay, so I have taken two cation that is Fe2 plus and Fe3 plus. So, here the positive charge is more, so it can take you know attract the shared pair of electron. So, this would be greater than Fe2 plus. So, the electronegativity is directly proportional to the positive charge. Coming to the charge on the anion, you can see, you know, I have taken the example of nitrogen n minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. Okay? So, now this one has already more electrons. So, you know, if it pulls the electron, there will be repulsion between the electron and electron. So, this one will have the least. So, electronegativity is inversely proportional to the negative charge. Okay? So, this would be like this. Now, coming to the last one that is the hybridization. Okay? So, like you know here there are like you know, many types of hybridization which you will be learning later. Okay? Right now just remember like you know sp, sp2 and sp3 hybridization. Like you know when the percentage s character is more then it is more electronegative. So, you can, you can see here in sp there is 50 percent s and 50 percent p. Okay? But whereas in sp2 it will be some 33.3 percent of s. Whereas in sp P3 it will be 25 percent. So, more the S character more electronegative it is. Now, let us see the trend first one we will see along a period that is from left to right. So, left to right what will happen? The uh, like you know nuclear charge increases, we know the like you know size atomic number increases, nuclear charge increases, okay? size decreases and the electronegativity value will also increase. Okay? Now, coming to group like you know from top to bottom in a group, so the size increases here and the electronegativity value decreases. So, just remember these two.